All right, attacking across a straight with a large morale deficit. Let's see. See how this goes. We're making money hand over fist. Did we? Were we like really overpaying our military advisor before? We might have been. You trade good fur. Oh yeah, my army that didn't have the general got there way late because they have a much lower maneuver stat. I should have combined the army before I sent them both in. Well, that was a disaster. Says the guy who moments ago was like, I am literally Napoleon! Alright, promoting all of our advisors. That didn't kill our economy, so let's promote them again. Ran out of money. Can't do it. Yep. I guess we'll let the Brits we'll let the Brits handle this one. We'll go we'll go take on the Floridians. Causing way too much trouble right now. <coughs> <laughs> the Maritimes of be becoming this, like, war-ravaged region that's not going to see prosperity for many years. Alright. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll go hit the Rebels first, and then we'll take on their main stack. Go, Brits, go! Trap them. Doeg is not a very loyal province. All right, we got this. We got this under control. Michael Knox, a hero of the Gaelic Canadian nation, if ever there was one. Maybe when we take Tennessee, we should name a city Knoxville after him. It's historically accurate. All right, apparently we have enough splendor for something. Um, Despite the fact that we have done, like, nothing as far as age objectives this this era. Uh, autonomy change. I think we're going to go with yearly absolutism. Because absolutism gives us discipline, which is really good. Even though our max absolutism is really shitty because we're a republic. Uh, <clears throat> and then we're going to go hang out in Stadacona. That is a massive French Navy. Okay, these guys are going to land in Manhattan. We're going to try to get there before they land. Hey, look, they decided not to land in Manhattan. Side in Manhattan? Nah, on second thought, let's not. Prestige or Diplo Power? You can lose Diplo Power right now, I think. Yeah. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to look at just now? Oh yeah, I was going to look at our ticking war score. It's almost maxed out. Uh, 
Uh, all right. We're going to go clean up these Floridian armies. Hey, look, the Iroquois have a navy, kind of. Delayed salaries. Um, campaign in Florida has run into some severe logistical problems. As the season for salary payment draws nearer, it's becoming abundantly clear that we will not be able to pay all troops as there is simply no way for the money to get to them on time. Our generals blame constant enemy raids on the baggage train and insist they planned everything in detail, but the problem is now Mungo Gordon's to solve. If we only pay a fraction of our troops, many will no doubt desert. We could also choose to pay one of them, pay none of them and tell them to live off the land, but that would likely devastate the entire area. Uh, yeah, we're just going to let them rob the North Carolinians. I apologize to my friends in North Carolina. But uh, we can't afford to lose 6,000 manpower right now. We're, we're scraping the barrel as it is. Uh, let's convert Chillicothe. All right. England, are you going to deal with France ever? End of hostilities between court and country in Brandenburg. Where did that land them? Uh, can you see other countries' absolutism? I guess maybe you can't. Probably should have read the event to see where they ended up. Mayans are still independent. That's kind of cool. I'm a little bit uh, annoyed with the British now that they haven't solved our French problem up north. Let's go meet them. Finally, we have we can write a constitution. 5th of March, 1685. Which means if we wanted to, we could switch government types. Autonomy change in production efficiency, years of separatism. Constitutional Republic would actually probably be better for us. Um, max Absolutism, minus 30. Administrative Republic... Yeah, I think it actually gives us more. Oh, wow, bureaucratic despotism doesn't reduce your absolutism at all. So we could almost be like Renaissance Stalin if we wanted to. Interesting. Yeah, I think we might switch to constitutional just for the flavor, because I like it. Our maximum absolutism actually wouldn't change. But I think the bonuses are better. And I kind of like playing around with Parliament, so. Even though it would be very. It's going to be very hard to find good parliamentary seats because the estates control so much already. Diplomatic moves, good news. Um, <clears throat> I totally forget what we were going to spend the rest of our. Uh, we're going to keep Mungo Gordon. Our idea slots on. Um, Cuz I know we want a big navy. We're also fighting a lot of land wars right now. So we should probably take offensive. Yeah. I don't even remember if that was the original plan or not, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Gotta get that discipline up. Those are basically, like, essential anyway, right? Like, 
Does anybody not take offensive and quality ideas every game? Unless you're playing total pacifist. I'd like to point out that they have at no point ever come anywhere near the war goal. Pretty proud of that myself. Alright, we're going to turn back on attachments to this army. So we can get by with a little help from our friends. Be nice if I could just tell some of these sailors to pick up a gun and join the army. <laughs> if you could move them back and forth, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, so there's going to be a battle here. Oh, no, there's not. Those are allied troops. Trying to outmaneuver the French is always a tricky proposition. I think we're going to catch them, though. Their morale is crazy. Where are they getting it from? Elan. Oh, yeah, Elan gives plus 20%. They also have better military tradition than us. And we're attacking across a river into hills, which doesn't help. Way more casualties than we probably should have. All right, so now it's just a matter of cleaning up, liberating our lands, and we'll, uh, we'll peace out. Stack wipe. Fantastic. Finally got this war under control. Apologize to our friends uh, north of the uh, St. Lawrence Estuary who had their homes demolished and generally just did not have a very good time during this war. Oh, well, there's been some fighting going on in the Caribbean, too. Interesting. <coughs> yeah, they're occupying Havana and Anti Anticosti, which for some reason is worth 0.4 war score. It seems like a lot. Well, that was an interesting little war. Did I change my mind about where we were going to move the capital to? Did we decide we were going to move it to Manhattan or something? Or Massachusetts? Development cost. Yeah, I think we did decide to move the capital to Massachusetts, didn't we? No, it's controlled by an estate. Where was I going to move it to? Mochilaga? Okay, I must have I must have meant to move it to Hochelaga. See, so yeah, Malice Seat doesn't even make any sense. More people means more taxes. Chillicothe, converted to the one true faith. Let's get those Allegans on the same page. Uh, uh, we'll wait on ideas for now. All right. <clears throat> so now we're just down to a spectator sport of watching uh, events unfold in the Caribbean, get those last couple little points of war score uh, eked out, and then we will uh, work out a peace deal here. France are occupying Guantanamo. I almost say just let them have it. It's not a, not a pleasant place. Yay, monopolizing the fur trade. <laughs> Did 
Don't let them occupy another province. Just go kill. It's not hard. It's not difficult. Native rising. Okay. Why would you send all of your troops there and not go kill that stack? You need all of your troops there to take a unfortified province. All right. Factors affecting war score. Minus two from battles. Doesn't look like there's any blockades going on that are against us. So we're going to give the Iroquois the land they want here. We're going to take this for sure. We're going to take this for sure. We're going to take the Carolinas probably. <coughs> Um, areas. I don't know if I want to go over 50% over extension. That would get us to 82. Um. Can't get war reparations at that level. I think we can deal with 82% war or overextension. We'll just take a bunch of money from them as well. No treaties. <laughs> we could make them give back the Angevin continental possessions. All right. The Second French and Gaelic War. We have uh, further solidified our dominance of the United States East Coast, as far south as the Carolinas. Florida has been sort of relegated to a, a rump state here. <laughs> Things are going well. We're not going to have any admin power for a very long time. And... Uh, we're going to station our army in Chesapeake to be ready to hunt rebels. We've also surpassed Florida as a potential rival, so we need to pick some new ones. You know what? Fuck it. Screw Portugal. <coughs> That also probably tanked our religious unity, because we just conquered a bunch of Catholics. Yeah. So we're going to have to work on that. Did we promote French culture yet? Yeah, okay. So we've very much gone down the historical path of Canada of annexing a bunch of Francophone territory to the point that they make up Yeah, uh, eight percent's not that much, but it's still substantial. Uh, we're gonna wait on tech. Oh, we only got up to fifteen point seven percent overextension. I could have taken a lot more territory, probably. Oh, uh, we want our. Uh, fleet to get back to trading too. So go home at war. Protect trade in Chesapeake Bay. We seized we seized another center of trade. So that's that's good. That's like the minimum amount of territory that would have made that war worth it. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. Iroquois still a monarchy. 
Yep, they are a feudal monarchy. Maybe we'll have to spread the uh, spread the light of revolution to them someday here. In the meantime, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna declare any more wars until we get our overextension down, for sure. So we'll go ahead and go up to speed five, and um, then we'll maybe look at uh, punching Portugal in the mouth here. All right, I'm kind of happy with these borders. Because they're going to try to pin us in, and I don't really care at this point. We're just going to take their land eventually anyway. States demand control of provinces. Who is unhappy now? It's the clergy. So we're going to go to development. We're going to look at local tax modifier. Soto, I don't think that belongs to an estate yet. Innovativeness is decreasing. We will fix that shortly. Converted the heretics of Allegheny. Calicos and other cotton cloths. Let's see if that does anything to our economy. Not really. No, it actually did. Did a fair bit for our economy. We're making that a core, we're making that a core, so we will convert the Shenandoah Valley. <coughs> We have a revolt. Shawnee separatists in Wabash. <coughs> Shawnee haven't been independent for some time. Apparently they still want independence. Apologize for the coughing. As I said, I got I, I think I got the Zeke virus at uh, Paradox Con. Osage separatists. Let's see if we can stop separatism here. Why do our guys keep dying when they're finally getting good stats? Can we elect a consul who's not like a million years old? And he's indulgent. We have Floridian separatists. We did not prevent the Osage separatists from causing separatism. Jeez. It is, a, it is a time of troubles, I tell ya. Alright. We've got heavy frigates. I'm now going to definitely change our focus to admin. Where are these guys headed? Nanticoke. I guess that makes them not our problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Scotland gain imperialism, but I saw our old, uh, holy shit, our old mother country has survived in a colony south of the Congo under the Nkil dynasty. Oh, it's a it's a regency for Donald the 4th. And they're still Stuarts. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh yeah. Are they and they're allied with the Congo which is still fetishist. That's kind of hilarious. So they they went they went on a little uh, African excursion it looks like. Good good for them. I mean, I'm glad they're still kicking around in some capacity. Since the the English have been genociding our Gaelic brothers in Scotland and Ireland as you can see. Um Replacing them with lowland Scots. 
as is historical. California has uh, gotten big enough to write their name across the Rocky Mountains and the Great Basin. <coughs> Pardon me. This is a very interesting multicultural uh, New World setup we're looking at here. And if we look at the culture map, Highlander kind of dominates through the Canadian Maritimes down to about where the uh, Iroquois Confederacy starts. We've got a lot of Native Americans still. English up in St. James Bay. Highlander in the upper Midwest around the Great Lakes along with some existing Native American majority communities. A lot of Native American majority communities through like the uh, I guess we'd call this the Rust Belt area. And then French in the um, coastal southeast up as far as uh, Delaware Bay and the Chesapeake, Portuguese kind of occupying this little strip that was French in our timeline. Spanish pretty much occupying areas that were traditionally Spanish in our timeline except going much further north. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I might see if I can convert this game to Vicky 2, um, depending on if the converter is in good working shape when we finish. It's, it's basically supported by a guy who, like, doesn't get paid or anything, so I am I am sympathetic to the fact that he doesn't always have time to, to keep it up to date, but uh, if, if it is up to date, I will definitely look into that. <coughs> Let's see, we're going to do a mass draft with the financial incentive. Core everything. Send out some missionaries. We'll help out our Iroquois friends. Let's also take a look at our allies and make sure that their trust is as high as it could be. Um, Britain. Their trust of us is not actually that high. I think it's more important to raise their trust with us than uh, it would be to... Uh, be able to call them into war easily. The Iroquois, on the other hand, really like us, as they should. We've done a lot for them. We have Cherokee Separatists. Foreign Plots. Uh, yeah, we'll seize them in their wealth. Looks like he was fighting with a tomahawk and a cannon, which seems like you might need to get your priorities a little better in order. More base tax in Michigan is always good. All right, heading on back to Chesapeake, waiting for more rebellions to fire. 22, 12, cool. Um, we actually need one more cavalry in this unit. Except we don't have any manpower. Whoops. What do we control at this point that can give us uh, coal? Trade, trade goods. There it is. So we've got one, two, three... Four potential coal provinces? Five? It's not bad, it's just going to be a fight to get to 20 uh, innovativeness so we can actually exploit it. So we can have our heartland uh, industrial revolution kick off. Ungrateful natives. Oh, I can promote this guy now. Sweet. We have a full suite of level 3 advisors. Colonies become self-sustaining. 
We're almost done with our colonization phase. <coughs> yeah, I think this is the last province we need to colonize. We'll be saving a lot of money. Saiyan T to the true faith. Did France fall down the great power ranking at all after we messed up their colonies? Not yet. Oh, look at this! 666666. We're tied with Denmark for uh, great power at exactly 666. It's the Battle of the Satans. Trade good in Miami, change to fur. That's great. And we're a great power! We've made it! We're now 669! Nice. Nice. I think that's actually going to be a good note to end it on. We'll go ahead and tech up to uh, light cavalry here. We'll select our new units. I think we're going to want Caroline Infantry. They're the most offense focused, right? Yeah, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Yeah, we'll go... Uh, we'll, we'll follow the lead of, of Charles the Eleventh and uh, continue to focus on the attack in all things. Um, also want to do the same with... Uh... <coughs> Pardon me. Army Blanche Cavalry. Primarily on cold steel will we rely. And I don't know if that gets us the new unit model yet. I think there's one more tier of unit model we haven't seen yet for uh, the Gaelic unit pack. But anyway, we're a great power. We're coring some stuff. We're getting ready to go to war with the Portuguese. Probably finish off Florida. <clears throat> we might give uh, the peninsula to England because they, they seem to be into that. Um... Do they have any claims in this area? No, they don't. So we're just going to claim all of Portuguese Louisiana, probably. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. Excuse me. Get a lozenge, TJ. Yeah, I'm just going to claim all of their inland territory here. Yeah, that should, that should about do it. We'll claim the Wichita, too, because why not? Uh, and their colonial provinces. Yeah, we, we want to eventually take all of this. We, we're going to go full Manifest Destiny here. We're still... Uh, we're still not even to 1700, so we've got lots of time to make that happen. I would like to eventually turn our backs on the English and take all of their land and... Uh, in uh, Hudson Bay as well. The Iroquois, I would love if they would like peacefully confederate with us or something, but they have more than a hundred development, so we might leave them be, we might go to war with them at some point. I mean, we have the RP justification that they're, uh, they're a monarchy, and as a republic we kind of look down on that a little bit. Um, oh, we can change our government type. Let's do that before we go. Constitutional Republic. And we'll assign seats in Parliament stuff at the, the beginning of the next episode. So thanks for joining us. Happy to be back on a regular content schedule. Look for Stellaris. Uh, a little bit further down the line, look for some more Kaiser Reich. Check out loresworn.com. That's our website. We are at Loresworn Order on Twitter. I'll show you Europe while I'm talking, just because I'm sure some of you want to see the glorious Astro Hungarian Empire and uh, the. Uh, Emperor Hohenzollern of the now Protestant Holy Roman Empire. Um, at Lore Sworn Order on Twitter, I'm at AsaTJ, that's A-S-A-T-J. You can go on IGN.com right now and read my comprehensive preview of Imperator Rome from um, PDXCon. I asked the questions nobody else bothered to ask, um, so there's, there's a lot of good info in there. Um, click subscribe, click the notification thing, all the usual YouTube stuff, and we'll catch you next time.